Shaboom, shaboom. Oh, welcome to our channel. Hi, I'm Kathy, and welcome back to our channel, Imperfect Beauty. How are y'all doing today? So, anyways, today's chat, uh, video is about eBay makeup. <laughs> and boy, do I have <laughs> some whoppers for y'all. So, anyways, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing at myself. So, I was on eBay, and I don't even know how I got on eBay, because I, I don't ever use eBay for, I don't have a reason to. And, um, all of a sudden, I was, like, in the makeup section, and I don't know how I got there, either. I think... I must have been searching for something and it led me to eBay like I searched for it in general and it led me to eBay you know what I mean and I feel like I have a hair in my face anywho so it led me to the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette and it had the very pretty picture of the actual palette and um and said it was nineteen ninety nine free shipping. And I was like, Oh my god, oh my god, I need this, I need to have it. And um so I ordered it. And it was it was like they said, no no shipping, so it was nineteen ninety nine. And then after I ordered it, I realized, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> it's probably some fake knockoff. And, and then my, like, optimistic side would say, well, maybe it's the real thing. You never know. But I knew. I knew, I knew, I knew it was going to be fake. So it finally arrives. Uh oh, oh. It doesn't end there. I kept looking. I kept looking. I found the little Too Faced, uh, the heart brush that came with the Funfetti things. That was real, and I, it cost like $2 or something. And I was super excited about it. I'm not going to use it. It's on my shelves, my magic shelves with all the pretty things. All the pretty makeup things. Anyways, um, and... I also found the uh, Clover palette, and I was like, oh my god, just like with the, the gold bar, I was like, oh my god, I need it, I have to have it, and it was only like six dollars and something cents, so I was like, I bought it, I mean, six dollars and like 21 cents, come on. And I thought, well, it's it's probably fake. That and the chocolate bar are probably fake. But you never know. You never know. I mean, it could be a very odd. These, you know, people sending it to me from some part of Asia. <laughs> Maybe very, very honest and sending me the real things. You never know. But I knew. So then, lo and behold, I'm thinking of the beautiful packaging of the gold, the chocolate gold bar. The beautiful, beautiful packaging. And it arrives, and I pull it out of the packaging, and I get, are you ready for it? Are you ready? Yeah, I don't think you're ready for this. I get this. <laughs> oh, talk about disappointing. <laughs> and, and then, <laughs> to top it all off, look at this. There is no gold in this. There's just some flimmy, pukey 
boogery color. So I decided to swatch, to do some swatching, because it's mostly chocolate. Um, I'll give it that one point. <laughs> so I had decided to do some swatching, you know, because in the stores I swatch it. I've swatched it millions of times because there are some colors in here that really call to me. So first I swatched this baby right here. It's gold. She has on my finger. Powdery. And we're gonna go like so. And that's disappointing. So the second color that I really love from from the original palette is this one. See how many times I swipe it there? And where did I put them? My nails are dirty as well. I don't know why. And I'm thinking, well, that's not too bad, but it's not as good as the real thing. So, I've been swatching them all day long, and basically, what I came to realize for both of these palettes is that it's hit and miss. Some of the colors are really good, and some of them just plain suck. Let's see, which, oh, I forgot to show you. So there's the box for the Clover palette, and this is the, it doesn't have the uh, raised, well except for, except this right here. I didn't know that. They tried, I guess, give them a point for that. And then we, let's try, let's just, let me try one I haven't, haven't tried this. Oh my god, I didn't realize it smelled like old lady perfume. That's not right. I'm gonna try this blue here. Let's see. Well, eh. It's a little icy, I guess. It does look kind of pretty, like a light blue. I'm gonna catch the right light. Right there, it, it does, the camera isn't doing it justice. Um, here's a mat called Love is Love. Love is Love. Peace in the Middle East. I'm stuck going like this. Oh, that's a nice one right there. See, hit or miss, hit or miss. What did I tell you guys? Let's go with a yellow. This one kicks up so much, which I use to my advantage. I always, oh, that's a good one. I always use the kick up. Like people are like, oh, the powder, it, the eyeshadow kicks up. I'm like, so just use your brush and Pick that, that pick up right up. And that's my new saying. Pick that pick up right up. <laughs> Anyways. I, how did I not smell that smell before? Mm. Mm. Alright. So. So. Moral of the story is, do not buy these kinds of products on eBay. They're not real. Even if they make them look real. <laughs> Unless you're, you're just, you know, want shadow to play around with. Like, you know, 
Um, I would rate some of these shadows better than some of the shadows that are not high-end shadows, but ha shadows that are sold like at at TJ Maxx or I don't want to say the name of the the name of the company or um, but they're I'm having like a crisis of I would pick these shadows over. Some shadow, some brands that I would find at like TJ Maxx or um, Marshalls, you know what I mean? I think y'all know what I mean. I mean, if you if you're a a uh, if you frequent TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I think you know what I mean. All right, so that's just a short video just to show you my eBay uh, story. <laughs> hit, it, hit or miss. And, you know, I don't consider it a total miss. Not a total miss. But, you know. Shit happens. Um, okay, anyways, I hope y'all are doing great. I hope you had a great 4th of July. And I hope you're in one piece <laughs> after that. Uh, and um, I love y'all. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.